turned the program around into a real, real football program, and Ed Feely came to Tate when the situation was pretty bad, and he's going to build a winner, a winner there. You know, the one thing Eddie Feely is quick to point out when you talk about the problems they had last year going one and nine, and you know, the, the Shannon Suarez coach team had 21 seniors starting, so they lost all of them, and really very few other players played. So Eddie Feely was walking into a situation where no one had really played any football, so it was a learning experience last year, and to turn it around this quickly, of course, Mike Emmons, the quarterback transferring in, has helped. But Dan, what, what, was, what was so bad in great? 20 seconds to go. This drive started back on the Tate 16-yard line with 2.12 to go. So they're moving the ball in a hurry, and Emmons back to throw for the end zone for Wilson. Flag goes down, and the defensive back turned around. Uh, Anthony, or rather Tony Thompson turned around, but he had his right hand on the intended receiver. Flag on the play. Pass interference against Woodham. So the pass interference penalty does, among other things, stop the clock with 14 seconds to go. Line of scrimmage was the 23-yard line. Here you see the right hand on the intended receiver, Wilson. So the Aggies screen. Number 11, Mike Evans, bring the ball. 15 first downs for the Aggies tonight. 14 seconds to go. To the end zone for Edwards, incomplete. Incomplete. Well, that was On the coverage, coverage was Anthony Thompson, but Edwards had a shot at the ball and almost made a great catch. That was good coverage by defensive back for Woodham. Watch this. Anthony Thompson, 27. Stop the clock with 10 seconds remaining. And as soon as he realized the ball was there and he couldn't make the defensive play, he didn't hit him before the ball got there, but coverage, man to man coverage, and he's got him again. Although he's got some help from Adams this time. He threw across the middle to Mann. Touchdown! Seven seconds to go. Joey Mann with his second touchdown catch, or check that, his first touchdown catch of the night. And Bobby Kreiner on to attempt his third extra point of the night. It is 20 to 7 Tate. Holding will be Kenny Perkins. Snap, kick is up. Kick is up. And good, he slipped it inside the right upright. So Kreiner, three for three, and the Aggies, with seven seconds to go in the half, have taken a 21 to seven lead. Who would have thunk it? I really wouldn't have thought it at all, Dan. I, I thought it, it would be a little bit, or quite a bit different from this, but that's one thing about the, the game of football, the ball is not round, and you never know. Here's Emmons, there you see Mann blowing right by Smith. And I think what held the linebacker, if you can roll that back, James, I'm not sure if we have a chance to or not. But uh, you'll see Emmons, as soon as he steps away from the center, he pumped quickly. He stopped a second, and that may have held Smith. And then Mann gets behind him. That's right, Dan. It froze the linebacker when he did that. The Aggies, 24-yard field goal, and they're going to blow the whistles. I think it was offside on Tate's part. Or a procedure penalty of some sort. 